Ladies and Germans, Russians, and, you know, Reite Jägers of all ages, I am Connellberg. And I'm Renru. Hello, hello, hello. And guys, again, continuing our coverage of the Orsha Cup, uh, we have ourselves a 1v1 over here on Slutsk. With all those lovely little bridges, Rang, who is fighting, though? Well, on the left-hand side, in blue, we have Kerbs playing as 20th Panzer, with a balance. Income, which is quite surprising for 20th Panzer. And right hand side, we have Chicken Do playing as Group Bezulugo, and he has a Vanguard income. So, Bezulugo, we've seen those guys once or twice. Mm -hmm. Very quickly, in you know a sentence or two, what should we be expecting? Uh, a lot of basic Russian stuff with some captured German equipment, such as Tigers. Okay. Three tigers. So, how's that going to match up against the 20th Panzer, though, is the question. Yeah, 20th Panzer, it's definitely more lighter armor. We've got like some Panzer 3s, a few Panzer 4s, the 1 IS-2 that you can get. So uh, I'm really quite curious to see how Kurtz is going to play us, as 20th Panzer is definitely an A phase, B phase division with how it's like cards just set up. So let's, let's see how he works his way into the later stages of the matches. 20th Panzer is you know, one of those mad divisions that just has a hard time. Once C face hits. That's true, but we do have the early boy to stall in, and, and look over here at Bazooka He does not have anything in the area to remotely match up to it. Yeah, yeah, that Stalin is going to be a huge powerhouse. The, yeah, the Tigers pretty much lose to it. His best bet is really the SU 122s with the heat shells, but that's that's really it. And even with the heat shells, you have a hard time panning as. Yeah, I'm going to do like 160 on 160 armor. Yeah, so it's, it's uh, really a very much a tough call there. Mm -hmm. You just have to shoot it in the flank, I guess. Uh, and I don't know that Kerb's going to let his, his stuff get shot in the ass. He's not, he's not really that kind of player. <laughs> um, but we are actually all going to, going to see a very early anti-air piece over here from Kerb's as well. I kind of like that. Um, I said this in the last game, too. Very often we see a lot of early airplane play, and unfortunately for so many players... I feel like the game is won and lost in effective use of air power. This game even more than SD1. Yes, I'd, I'd agree with you in that run. And even though it's hard to justify getting, you know, spending like 70, 80 points on anti-aircraft gun early on, even like two in this case with, with curbs, it's not a bad idea. Especially, if not, even, not even at the start of the match, but just in like the first few minutes or so. Because those strafing runs will kill you. They're really, really scary when a fucker wolf just fucking comes down on you. True, and if you really want to know what we're talking about with there, come check out the Tuesday game, because that will have you on the edge of your seat. You will think one thing's there, it will not be there. Yeah. Odin Machiki opening to the north, though. In fact, we're going to have two IG-18s that have to push us back with one lone squad of Pigrens. Oh, no, off Claire. Okay, even worse. Um, This is a tall order. Oh, wow, never mind. Good lord. Oh, supporting fire from the P3. Yeah. And, yeah, the Oliver Cheeky's pretty much caught in the open. Chicken Dude's trying to throw a smoke, but... That's... It's, it's kind of working. It's at least buying him time to bring Strelke DP, as well as his fire support vehicles, onto the Northern Hill. Mm-hmm. And now he's bringing some Sapari and his Devka into just a little bit south of that Northern Town. To the south of that Northern Town. Very, very true. Now, kind of funny that that T6 Tiger, uh, I'd, I'd find it almost humorous that the boy to Stalin and a Tiger faced off. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> I would pretty much know which way that, that match probably should go from a mm -hmm. point perspective, um, even though it kind of make me want to cry. Yeah, yeah. God damn, the Panzer Free just got yeeted out of existence by the 1 2 2. Yeah, that's going to be oh, a wow. really deadly, like, hill. Yeah, uh, Curbs is going to have to deal with up north. Because his only real heavy tank is at IS-2. Apart from yeah, it's just Panzer IVs and like some Pack 40 guns. I mean, they can deal with those tanks for sure, but it's a little bit, a little bit tougher, especially when they have the high ground. You know, one thing I never really noticed about the Slush Troopin is that they have a cargo space of light. Yeah, yeah, they've been, um, you know, hitting the gym. They also have models of cocktails now, which is awesome. Yeah, which is why I took a look at that in the first place. I saw the whole light thing. I'd never seen that before. One of them, to use your terms, got yeeted out of existence by uh, TNT, which is why you don't bring nitroglycerin to an explosives fight. <laughs> uh, yeah. But I confess, I feel like that town fight in the south, this is the thing to watch. Yeah, we got 
You know, a few T-34s and a Panzer three from Kerb, so he does need some more infantry as he's having a little bit of a hard time. The Panzer three is actually a pretty good infantry support tank as it shoots rather fast and does two damage HE compared to the one damage of regular, uh, like, tanks. Mm -hmm. That's so true. That should help out dealing with the Sapparis and all of it. The unfortunate thing, I think, for the, actually Kerbs' troops as T-34s have decided that they cannot fight the Motherland and have just, like, kind of given themselves over completely. Meanwhile, mm -hmm. Chicken Deuce guys, they've proved that there's nothing foul going on with them, and uh, they're able to shoot straight and get a lot of kills here. Yeah, yeah, and looking all the way down south, but the Aftermath Cheekies clearing out the German infantry and going to be capping. You had to flag easy peasy like IS-2 is making its way along the middle area of the map along the hill and he is just blowing up strokey dp easy peasy true he is already at a 12 7 ammo which is not surprising right there mm -hmm. um but wait i think he has a 300 coming in so it's not it's barely anything it feels like yeah maybe we can ask his opponent if he has any it's 240. oh okay thank you oh yeah duh we can stop up the, the unit card oh yeah yay yeah. yeah i do this for a living uh, P3 in the meantime, up north, he continues, actually, the replacement, uh, P3. Spalling, he's taking out the one two two. Oh, gun jammed, oh my god. That could have been... Oh my gosh, that could have uh, been the biggest kill ever for that on the SU-122. Oh, but that's a fantastic 45 mil position from Chicken Dudes. That just shuts down the reinforcement road. And Curbs is bringing in some 45 mils of his own. Both both sides really love using the other guy's equipment. Now what we do see is the first uh, anti-aircraft really being done here, of course, by actual fighter planes. I mean, 109 might buy it, but two stars are the two, you know, Iron Crossies. He's a double ace. He's going to get out. No! <laughs> Number one bite to dust. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, poor guy there. Uh, but the thing is, let's think about this. Even if Chicken Do takes a bit of an advantage here, he's only getting weaker, and Curbs is only getting stronger. Yeah. Yeah. So, here's the question. Is the 20th Panzer really getting overmatched, or are they holding their own successfully? Yeah, he's doing, I mean, he's doing pretty good. I mean, it's not surprising to be losing in a phase, especially when your opponent has 50% more income mm -hmm. than you. But once again, in terms of just unit amount in terms of cards that you can get you really do run out by c phase so i'm, I'm really curious to see because a lot of those tank cards you get are like a and b phase exclusive they can i think get like a few pounds of force in c phase if i recall but but yeah we're just to see it go maybe he's focused a bit more on anti-tank weaponry i i confess i'm also watching as this p3 kind of very nervously moves about this town and the boy to stalin just kind of goes north and south kind of like jaws just looking for prey do, 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 do. Um, oof. The Northern Push, you mentioned it before, I have that 45 coming on in, the 45 mil from the Germans. I don't know if that's going to arrest the uh, momentum of this attack, though. With a KV-1 up front, a, the Tiger behind that, and an SU-122 behind that. Yeah. There isn't really much of the infantry nearby, so I'm wondering if the pack gun can shoot at tanks without being spotted. Well, it might be able to, but now, as we have discovered on Tuesday, we have ourselves efficient shot being turned on there. And the Flammenwerfer squads have decided to do the whole Mysterio <laughs> proof of smoke thing. I wonder where the Flammenwerfer squads are. Hmm. Yeah, you wonder about the sense of that, but, uh, oh well. Yeah. We do yeah, have how to... not to be seen. Exactly. You know, I was actually going to make a comment about that, but I'm, I'm happy to know, you know, the classic's still up there in the, the Canadia. Mm-hmm. Uh, we do have two long barrel P3s coming on in, so these guys might have the opportunity to kind of force back what's existing over here for the Soviets. I would not be too confident, though. No. Yeah, this is it's sort of a very good push here from Shaker Do. Exactly what you need to do in this initial A phase is grabbing a lot of territory. It's not exactly, it's not a lot of flags up here, unfortunately, yo. Especially on this map, a bit more spread out but he he is still getting those victory points okay gun jammed in the one two two and the kv1 the loader is wounded and it's bailed out damn oh yeah the panzer three has those lovely apcr shells so getting some good hits and the pack gun the 45 mil that's going at it but it does does bite the dust to machine gun fire yeah which you kind of expect it to be fair now we are going to see reinforcement coming over here to the north more stroke dps not the machiki or two 
and there were a couple of tanks I could have sworn I'd seen. There we go. Yep, still coming down the road. But I'll, I'll repeat the question I just had. Is this an acceptable level of losses for yeah. curves? I, I'd say so, I'd say so. Once again, 50% income disparity between both sides. You can you can afford to lose a little bit up north. It's not too bad to take back this northern area, I'd say. Uh, not for nothing as well. We are going to see that um, duel that I was worried about seeing. We have the Boyta Stalin facing off against the Tiga, <laughs> and the IL-2 will cause it to freak out, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Not not the typical IS versus Tiger fight that you guys are used, used to seeing. <laughs> well, it's like oh. one of those things you can kind of imagine the guys going through that duel like, wait, no, that's not ours. Right, 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 right. <laughs> wait, is... Whoa. Hans, is, is, is that our Tiger? Oh. Yeah, that must have been bizarre when engagements like that actually happened. Well, I, I, all I keep thinking of stuff like Rommel at one point in North Africa, being in like a captured... Oh, like yeah. Matildas and stuff like that, and be like, haha, you're now all my prisoner. I'm sorry? Because yeah, Rommel used a, uh, like a Matador, like a Mammoth. captured British. Mammoth. Mammoth, there we go. Using that as his command vehicle. So it's definitely pr pretty funny when your commanding officer is using, you know, captured equipment. I think it's a bit of a political thing behind it or whatnot, but uh, nonetheless. The statement, nonetheless? Yeah, yeah I can see that. Yeah. Shooter but killed hey, another yeah, tank, shoots another one on the bounce. So the reinforcing T-34s, despite being, are they a later model? Yeah, they're a year later, but uh, a year late and a dollar short, kind of sounds like. And we're on the brink of going into phase B as Curbs just throws in the last of his air such troop and just to kind of arrest and maybe reverse the ridiculousness coming towards him. Yeah, it's still a good play if his T-34s hitting, hitting the flank. Almost as good as his P-3s. I didn't realize that P-3s could theoretically kill that Tiger. From the, from the front, even. So one of them does die. Shooter killed, though, so this could be... Okay, never mind. I thought we were going to see yeah. a little more of a uh, hefty amount here. Yeah, with a regular AP, they only do 100 mil yeah. penetration, which is a little, a little bit a little bit tough for, for the P3 zero, but they can stress out and do critical hits on the Tiger, which is pretty good. And go got to remember, there's only two Tigers you have to worry about. After you're done, not really many heavy tanks from Bezalugo. Out, uh, by the way, I'm assuming that that tiger over here for Bazooka is dead. I think the IS-2 did in fact kill it. Well, the transmission I, is damaged yeah. and the shooter is knocked out, so... Yeah. You know, six of one. Yeah, the IS-2's been uh, taking a lot of punishment. He's probably close to death in terms of HP points. You know, P3s, we, we make fun of them, but really, that was a supremely f effective tank. And you have to give them credit. Those guys were the workhorses for the first two, three years of the war. Mm hmm Fantastic, fantastic little medium tanks for, like you said, the early years. And they're honestly not that bad. The nice thing is training Panzer is you get, like, like five of them or whatnot with two stars. Veteran C, which is a fantastic card efficiency for two star Veteran C. And with the APCR shells, you can, you can penetrate Tiger tanks in this instance. Unfortunately for him, he's run out of APCR up north, so he can't really do too much against Tiger. He does have, you know, I mean, have Pack 43, so that's kind of, you know, is the ultimate problem solver. And the Tiger does go down. The IL-2 in the meantime, I wasn't even seeing that at the moment, but the IL-2 went again after the point of stalling. So the transmission is damaged, the engine is damaged, there was a stall just now, there's a crew panic. Oh, and the P3 down to the south is a P3N. It's basically an infantry support variant. Um, held the line bravely and died just as bravely, but uh, not before he lost his transmission, then the transmission was damaged, and then he died. Yeah. It's always so. transmission problems. It's always transmission problems. Yeah, you know, it's not something I've really kind of thought, thought about, but you're absolutely right there. Mm -hmm. Like, I really wish I could, you know, sing the praises of the mechanical engineering behind it, but let's let's be fair, it was pretty shit for the Eastern Front. Um, more P-Grants moving in, more T-34s moving in, and we have these P-4s, these F-1s. Very bizarre silhouette card, uh, but these are the assault gun variants, so this is kind of like, not, I want to say a grill, but I would say almost loosely towards that, would you say? Yeah, yeah, I think that's not a bad assumption. I mean, the nice, nice thing about the support gun uh, 75 mil tanks now. So they've got bloody twelve rounds a minute. They shoot really fast for a HE damage of two. So you can just you can 
can really mess up infantry in towns. And they also have those heat shells allowing them to do 100 millimeters of penetration, which isn't, you know, that's not bad. No, not at all. Now, the one thing I always do hate about curves uh, with the 20th Panzer is that he does not have AT on the speaker ends. Oh, yeah. That will yeah. always hurt me on the inside. It's always it's always a tough tough call to make, to be entirely honest, because you get more of the M when you don't take M with the Panzerfaust, but at the same time those Panzerfausts are pretty useful. They're, they're pretty they're pretty nice to have, but at the same time too you don't get a lot of infantry guards with twenty Panzer, so it's you got about that efficiency. Yeah, it's it's just it's a tough call, but yeesh. Yeah. Boyd of Stalin, I have to see his kill record because he just killed another T-34. He's going to kill another one in the second here. Even with his legs broken, his you know entire hull just abused by shells, he will get another kill. Just you watch. One shot. Oh, wow. Okay, well, never mind. I was going to say one kill. But he has to go make me into a liar. The fool. I know. Very, very rude. Yes. Yes, and down south, the Germans have been kicked out of the town, finally, at long last. Um, and indeed, we actually have one stealth trooper over here who has no more Molotov cocktails. And I can't help but feel that he's going to be joining the ranks of the dead pretty darn soon. Yeah, we've got the Ostrafniki finally being brought in, and they are always a really tough infantry squad to run up against. Yes, they are almost as bad as when you have a tank that's, you know, maybe 50 meters from your little uh, emplacement. Mm-hmm. Pretty damn rough, I would say. Yeah. Yeah, curves. This man's who bring it back. Uh, flag rise, fourteen ten. So he's slowly getting the victory again. Oh, air two on the IS two, and it finally dies. Uh, press. Can we? Can we get an F in chat or in the comments <laughs> for the IS two, the pointer? Indeed. Doo. Indeed. I'll try and do the like the American trumpet thing. Oh, I forgot, doo, I forgot the tune. Doo, doo, doo. Taps. <laughs> No, seriously, that's exactly what it's called. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's... Yes, please, please. Yeah, it's just... Thank you. Thank you for that musical rendition, Khan. Well, you know what? I'm a drummer, and I don't read notes, but I know that one. Um, at best, I can give you rhythms. Um, now, we have this kind of weird tank company starting to form here in the kind of south-central part of the German lines. Two T-34-42s, and then two P-4s. So the funny thing for me is that the T-34s, I feel like, are meant to walk, point, and get hit. Because they have the thicker skins. Yep. But at the end of it all, I don't know if that's really what you want to have happen. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the P-4s are definitely the better match against uh, Chicken Dew's T-34s. That's yeah, for sure. He's definitely maybe spread out his tanks a little bit. A little bit of bunched up. I'd have to say. We also have finally seen some artillery curves bring out as 100 millimeters. We also have AP shells. Ooh, yay! Like, damn, that's that's a really that's a really scary. It's AP aiming for shell. the Zis three, so we have an artillery duel. Oh yeah. As we were having an artillery duel. Yeah, I think 100 millimeters pretty much win win that engagement. Oh, you know what? The, no, actually, no. The Zis three is actually engaging that uh, T34. Oh. So, you know what, uh, Comrade Stalin don't care exactly what you have done in former life would kill you anyway. Yes. And down. Yes, Khan. Yeah, my, my Comrade Khan. are awful. Comrade, <laughs> Comrade Khan. Comrade Khan. Well, I've never uh, come up yeah. with that name before. It's too easy. Uh, in the meantime, though, some another couple of... Actually, a lot of reinforcements coming here to the center. Sturm Pioneers moving here to consolidate the town in the south. Call the Pigrun squads. Where are they going? Uh, to consolidate the central part of the map. I think. I think Curbs has, has gotten out of the woods here. He's got the income. And he's got. I really do think the infantry fight for this as well. Yeah. Yeah. He's got the Sturm pioneers. I mean, uh, the Sturm pioneers with harsh strikes definitely help out quite a bit. Hopefully, he stops pushing up his T-34s in the center a little bit, wait for the infantry to come up. Because if they go a bit closer, they're probably going to get. Yeah, AT drive forward by Stroke DPs. Oh god, I've seen enough PTR, PTRSs and PTRDs for this week. Mm -hmm. It is so weird to watch the 20th Panzer basically be the, you know, German version of Bazooklago. This is this is the Pioneers with SVTs, this is like, we've yeah. seen T-34s the entire time. Captured are there, tanks. Aren't there PPSs someplace in here? Soviet, uh, Stormtroopers. Uh, the Stoss Troopers, yeah. Yeah. 
I think that's a very good. That's a that's a pretty good analogy, Khan. That's a pretty good like. They're both so similar, it's so different. <laughs> Two sides of the same point, some would say. Yeah. Uh, Bazooka will go though, not going down without a fight. Bringing in an Su-76 as a proper artillery piece, as well as some anti-air to kind of back it up. Now, these are still the kind of rinky-dink 37 mils, but we have seen that 37 mils can be very deadly. Um, I certainly against infantry, if nothing else. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you got the Pioneer SVTs being brought in, so a fantastic unit, because I think those Germans are probably very happy that they got semi-automatic rifles. You know, one thing I kind of want to see more of the G43s, like, that was a mechanical rifle, mm -hmm. very solid, very dependable, and I'm pretty sure they used a lot more of, more of them than but most games tend to give credit. I think I think the Hungarians took them all. I'm not sure if you're being joking or you're being I'm, serious. I'm both. 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 Just like because all the Hungarian infantry, all the cavalry Hungarian infantry, have so many G43s. It's that like you think the Germans would get first first dibs, but no, no. Uh, there is this one IL2 that's been coming in every couple of minutes, almost without fail. He's desperate to push back. These G thirty four forty twos are supporting attack on the town with the Pioneer SVTs. I don't think the Russian defenders can hold them back. IL two strike or not? So. Yeah, those those Pioneer SVTs are just scary, scary to deal with. So they're gonna clear out the town easy peasy in the tanks port. Oh, here we go. Mezzo Smith. There's a four ten. One's going after the anti air piece, but I think it's a great call. Mm -hmm. But he's he's gonna go down. Yeah. It's so weird how airplanes now actually do a pretty decent job against enemy anti-air. I mean, it didn't completely suppress it because they've been nerfed a bit, but it, especially considering you know the SD44 days where you just don't you don't you don't hit artillery, anti-aircraft artillery with planes because that's just suicidal. Unless you're a B26 Marauder. Um, yeah, yeah, and you just straight for everything and win the match in the first 20 minutes because those Hellcats are just zipping and zooming. Oh god, that that was that yes. was awful to play against. It was awful, yeah, yeah. I think I think we even like I I know when the four farmers was completely broken. I think we both kind of made a pike like okay, we're just not going to cast any four farmer matches because it's just the same thing every time. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, which was unfortunate, too, because it was such an interesting division. It was just really, really not fun to play against. <laughs> it was piss-poor balance for the first few months. And then they nerfed the stewards to oblivion, and yeah. all which was restored. Good. Yeah. But uh, where we had the Germans rocked on their heels, they have now consolidated. We are in phase C. This is exactly what they wanted to wait for. Now we have P3s engaging T-34s from long range. We have infantry piercing deep into the Russian positions. Um, honestly, there's two T-34s that are protecting the artillery park, and that's it. In fact, we have a, a P Grand who might even get close enough to engage it? I don't know. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, he's really sneaking in behind the lines. And it's this Northern Puss has gone pretty pretty rough in curves. He's got that Northern Hill under his control. I don't think he's really going to be able to push much further. Just, there's a lot, a lot of Soviet T-34s here. Unless he gets the pack 43 up and running that thing will be the equalizer in that in that part of the map, so to speak. Yes, it will. Oh my gosh. It's so almost it's it's hauntingly delicious to see that two hundred and thirty penetration. I know, it's the nice thing about like I find like pack forty threes and national ones is that it's pretty it's not useless, but it's pretty unnecessary to really ever take them vetted. Because you already got, like, 60% baseline accuracy. You don't really need to be that more accurate. You're gonna, you're, you're, you're gonna hit regardless, it feels. Yes, you are. Now, we do have 145 mil on the center part of the map. What's he still engaging? Is he engaging those P4s? I'm not sure what he's engaging. Yeah, I think it's, like, the, P, yeah, the P4s. Yeah, the only thing I can think what? of... More Pioneer SVTs. We have we have an FU uh, excuse me, an well, I call it an FU eighteen. Uh, but we have an FH eighteen coming on the one fifty mils, and the hundred mils SK eighteens have a fair amount of shells. I'm surprised they're not continuing to fire for effect. I would be aiming for that northern bulge, those T thirty fours, pretty quickly. Oh yeah. But alas, he is not. 
No, he is not. Nor does he really need to. He's getting that slow bleed. Yes, it'd be nice to get more than that, but, you know, it's not terrible. Mm-hmm. And I'm, I'm quite surprised how well he's actually doing. It doesn't seem like he's really ran out of tanks yet or stuff. He's actually bringing a bit more infantry and actually bringing out quite a lot of leader units. More than anything, it's probably a pretty good call. For Kerbs. You mean Kerbs? Yeah, Kerbs. Yes. Yep, yep. And I uh, bring in some more artillery, 150 mil, and and then yeah, the artillery is definitely making a huge difference, especially especially with German artillery to get all those lovely corrected shot bonuses. Yes, they do. Well, the power of radio. Mm-hmm. Uh, and what are they coming in? ME109. It's a couple of ground positions. He's going. Okay, he's going for that IL2. That IL2 has bedeviled his troops for long enough. And kills the recon P3. <laughs> He won't be seen much anymore. Oh, yeah, yeah. God, God damn, is this Mesos mate gonna come around and kill the IO? I don't, I don't think so. Uh, no, I think, maybe. We'll, I think we'll get it on, on a second run here. One more mm -hmm. run, he'll get it. There's no AA to, to really oppose him. The nearest AA piece is... Wow, that is a long turn, though. Good lord. Yeah. He also went out really early, too. Yeah. Oh, whatever. Oh, we have Strafniki and a Pantagonadier Fuhrer. Running into each other, this is going to be an awful, awful meeting of the minds. And a forty uh, T thirty four says, "Yeah, we don't worry about that." Khan, I heard you really were looking forward to that fight, mano y mano, and we take it away. Oh, anti, it's just an anticlimactic light down. Yes, it is. And SC seventy six is now dueling with the hundred mils. Um, looking at the relative explosions between them, I would not want to be the SU seventy six. I wouldn't want to be either. The SU-76 is not getting much accurate fire on those no. 100 mils, that's for sure. Uh, and also, wow, there's a P-30, a P-4, I said P-34. There was a P-4 that uh, lost its crew. Supply truck brought it back in, and he is just doing a great job here. The one south, just north of the river? Yes, sir, we'll just claim yeah. a T-34, and it's going to claim this KV-1, just you watch. Watch me eat my words. Yep, that was delicious. <laughs> um, uh, I'm sorry, Colin. That's okay. Uh, besides, there's still this German Kampfgruppe coming under the center. We have a couple of Panzers. We have ourselves a Recon Panzer. We've got a couple of P. Grens. This takes us takes me back. This does go back to the whole uh, SD kind of Kampfgruppe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just bringing out all those... Oh, it's reinforcement show. God damn, Chicken Deuce has a really nice position on that middle hill. It was T thirty four. It's getting the high ground and all, but uh, yes, the, P the P3s being brought in the APCRs not gonna have a good time. Yes, also the Pgrens as well as you know P3, P4. We have the pack forty ready to kill anything that comes to the breakout. I mean, it's good for now, but I think it's more because Curbs has not deigned to kill them yet. Yeah. We got a lot. That's a lot of Stafniki up north. I just realised. Uh, every everything up north is just a penal squad. Can you say that on a, a cast? The the word that word. Penal. Penal. Yeah, uh, it just means. <laughs> I know. <laughs> IG 18 is being brought on, and as are two more P4s. So yeah, you know, I you said about 20th Panzer running low on armor. I feel like every single time we think he's out of armor, he brings in more of it. Yeah, I, I feel like he's probably starting to scrape a little bit of the barrel now in terms of armor because he's been bringing out quite a lot of units and also high veterancy as well, which definitely doesn't help the availability game, but he has been using them efficiently, which is what matters at the end of the day. This is silly, by the way, maybe to note, but I do like when people bring in armored vehicles in pairs. Yeah. It's a small thing, but I appreciate the attempt to kind of have this covering idea. Just mm -hmm. like bringing in three SU 76s with the point and shoots. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's a disposable camera there if I've ever seen one. <laughs> uh, I do think the IG 18s, though, all things considered, are a good indication yep. that, yes, the bottom of the barrel is being touched. You're right about that. God damn, that's what I'm going to think of when I see SU 76 PT point and shoot. <laughs> oh, God. Well, I mean, think about it. It's oh, like, yeah. okay, maybe it, gets, maybe it gets developed, maybe it doesn't. We don't know. 
<laughs> For another proper 35 points, you can't go wrong. Exactly. Uh, P3Ms and the P4 backing it up to try to engage that last uh, 42. It's an awful lot of ground fire. I, I, I'm really surprised if he gets off another round. Sight damaged. And a kill. Yep. This position is going to get overrun within the next two minutes. Yeah. When it, when it comes to Panzer IVs versus C-34-76s, Panzer IVs usually win. What I am fascinated about is this southern tank and uh, Strafniki pillbox that's going on here. He is calmly taking out squad by squad, but to what end? I mean, we have a, a Shrek squad coming on in, and that's great and all that. But look how far he's got to go to get any sort of actual victory pointage. What's a kilometer to the west? Yeah, you're not going to oh, break yeah. out. You really aren't going to break that out. That's not going to happen. No, that KV one's just going to be chilling out. Yeah, really, most of the time. Also, just picking off some pioneers. The IL two, I think, is finally done. There's three freaking ME one hundred nines going after it. Yeah, he's he should die now. If if the one hundred nines and four tens can actually get behind him. Well, here's one hundred one hundred nine. Uh, Lorman is very calm. And Hayes and Gottstein. Schoenstein, yeah. Schoenstein. Okay, he's, he's he has to be dead. I was going to say, yeah, yeah, there's really no way he can survive that. Yep, yeah. <laughs> as a 37 mil being brought in and immediately watched an immediate unload. <laughs> no, okay. No. Nope. Um, but yes, there we go. Okay, so that southern push is pretty much deceased. Uh, troops are falling back in disarray. The only thing that's keeping them alive is that uh, the Sturm Pioneers and SVTs are taking some friendly fire. But a couple of Shreks moving on in. Yes, they're... Yeah. Be very surprised if you don't see a couple of quick kills on these tanks. Man, that's one That's one critical you don't want to get. You do not want to get that loader killed. No. And I'll drive... I'll drive I guess drive a kill is not too bad if you can still shoot, but... You kind of need to load those rounds in to protect yourself. Indeed. Indeed, and at this point, Bazooklago doesn't have nearly anything left. Yeah, he just ran all his SU-26s in the middle into that Panzer IV Kampf group, and... I it's... didn't, I, you know, I didn't even watch them all die, but I feel like this last one's going to die very quickly, and yep. Yeah. Yeah, really, really good pushback here from, from Curbs over all this. You know, once you delve that annoying A-phase A -phase threat of those Tigers and whatnot, these man's a mop up the floor, most of... Well, Zoogle goes tanks and you now just decent job of infantry playing artillery. And with that in mind, we are going to see Chickadoo has suffered a little bit of friendly fire there, but that's okay. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Um, but you know, you know, it's very difficult, very very difficult, to say that that was going to be Kurt's game from the get go. Mm -hmm. Did not seem that way. Same, especially especially running twentieth Panzer balance income. It is, I still I still find it bizarre, but it worked out. So I'm sure if it really matters. Indeed, yeah. but you know what? Looking at the other side, uh, for the most part, one T thirty four is clearly a traitor against the motherland, taking out it's a fair share of vehicles. Um, and that pack forty three you were talking about takes out the Tiger and two thirty two T thirty four seventy sixes. There are a couple of minor standouts, really, for both sides, but all things considered, no one who's like a god. Oh, I do want to see the IL-2. IL-2, okay, get the boy to stall on the P-3. I feel like he got a lot more than that. No, it's mainly more suppression. Indeed. All right, but with that in mind, well done to Curbs, unfortunately, for Chicken Do. Mm-hmm. Really good match. Really, re really nice scenes. Just, he's both, both really ranked activism. Let's just go at it. Was reared captured equipment. Yes, indeed. Oh, but you know, it's always a fun day. It's always mm -hmm. a fun match, and that was definitely one more fun than most, I would say. Indeed, indeed, indeed. All right, folks. With that in mind, I think our coverage for the week has come to a close. As always, if you like what you see, hit like and subscribe below. Comment, do any kind of thing you want to see there. 
And if you have a replay you want us to check out, either hit me up or hit up Rang, either on Discord, on here. Uh, we are very easy to get in touch with. But, until next time, I'm Con Ulrich. I'm Rangaroo. Take it easy.